Hey everyone, welcome back for our second video that we're making, right? Hey everyone. It's nice. Um so last week when we talked to you, we talked about going through the wilderness trial, right? Where you are going through difficult time, but don't give up. Keep pushing forward. God's got amazing plans for you. So tonight, though, we want to talk about where does your fulfillment lie? So Natasha, uh, what are some things that we can put our fulfillment in? I think it's a lot of things in our life. You know, our careers, um, our family, um, our significant others. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think the list could go on and on about things we all put our fulfillment in. It's true. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with that because that's how we have purpose in life. You know, we're driven, we want to do things, but we have to understand whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, we've all gone through it. We've put our fulfillment in things that we've ended up realizing have gone away or we've lost them. And then we end up being crushed, empty, alone. And you're wondering what happened, you know, I had so much joy with that person or with that thing and now it's gone. So that's the whole point of our message is to talk about where does your fulfillment lie? And in relationships, I think that's one of the most important questions you can ask yourself, right? Yeah, because, you know, it's very easy, especially when you first get into a relationship, it's very easy to make your whole life revolve around that one person, you know, like you're in love, you're so happy. You know, but the minute you lose that, like Josh said, you know, your whole world comes crashing down. So I think that's something really important, whether you're just getting into a relationship or you're looking to be in a relationship or even when you're engaged or getting mm -hmm. married, you know, we can't find our fulfillment in that, in that relationship alone. Right. So where does that fulfillment come from? The truth is that if we just let our significant other give us everything that they have, the minute that they don't have that, we're going to be wanting more. We're going to be feeling unfulfilled, right? It's like being empty and wanting them to fill us up, but they can only give so much. They're not perfect. So how do we enjoy our relationships to the fullness and get the fulfillment that we desire? It's by personally having a relationship with God, and that is through his son, Jesus Christ, because through Jesus, you can have a personal relationship with God. And when you look to him, he will fill you up. So that's the key. And as you grow, look inside. Don't look at the other person, what they look like, uh, how good they look today, what they're dressed, what they're wearing, what kind of behaviors they're displaying. Maybe they're being more loving and affectionate today. That's going to give you more fulfillment. No, because you're always going to be wanting more. What you can do is look to God. Look to him first because he will give you the fulfillment that you desire in your inner heart. Then with you being fulfilled from him, despite whatever's going on in your relationship, whether good days, bad days, maybe you got in an argument, you know your fulfillment doesn't come from that person. It comes from God first. And that will give you the grace to love that person, to enjoy that relationship, to look past the faults and the difficulties, and to continue to try to push forward to a really blessed and amazing relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... You know, I've heard it said that, you know, often when we get into relationships, we start looking for 100% from that person because mm -hmm. uh, we, we want everything to come from that person. And when we don't get that 100%, we start thinking, oh, we need to go find someone else now because we're not getting that 100%. Mm -hmm. But then we go to that next person and we still don't get it. And, you know, I just like I've heard many ministries say and pastors that I follow um, you know, we're never going to get that 100% from our significant other. You might get 70%, you might get 80%, but the rest is always going to come from God. And that's, you know, something that I've had to learn, Josh has had to learn, we both have had to learn um, to make our relationship better. And it does, it makes it so much better when you can do that. So. Exactly. So our key message today is ask yourself, where does your fil fulfillment lie? Whether you're single, maybe it's in your job, maybe it's in what you're pursuing, there's nothing wrong with that. But remember, put God first. Let him be your fulfillment. That 50% you're not getting from that other person, that's for him. Let him fill you up with that so that when you, when your person that you're with or whatever you're doing is having a difficult day, you can be the one that's fulfilled and giving back to them. And that's how you enjoy the most amazing, loving relationships for any relationship that you have in your life is when you're fulfilled with God first then the rest will come and the rest will fall into place, okay? Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember that God loves you. He wants to do amazing things in your relationships and we encourage you to keep pushing forward despite your difficulties.
and always put your hope in God first. And just like Josh said, the rest will always fall into place. Yes. All right. So enjoy your night. We talk to you soon and stay tuned for our next video. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye.